What's going on there, guys? We back with another one. We have to talk about Skip Bayless and Shannon Sharp. And many are calling out Shannon Sharp for admitting Skip Bayless may have been right about some of the things he was saying about Tom Brady. Now, to be clear, Shannon Sharp never said Brady was a scrub. Brady wasn't this. Brady wasn't that. But sometimes Skip felt like Shannon was trying to take away from Brady's accomplishments and that would cause Skip to go too far and question Shannon Sharp's career, which wasn't fair to Shannon because Shannon in his own right is a Hall of Famer, um, multiple Super Bowls, and played a big part in each one. So we're going to look at one of the blowups between Skip and Shannon, and then we're going to examine Shannon's latest comments about Tom Brady that people are coming at Shannon for. Let's peep it. I want to ask you this, without Brady, is Belichick just another coach? No, I don't think he's just another coach. Um, I think the success that he's guided this team through over the last two decades, um, I think is something to be applauded, to be commended. Um, I think what has happened is that me, and I can just speak to me, but I think I owe Brady an apology because I don't think I gave him enough credit or I should have given him even more credit because what Brady allowed Coach Belichick to do Brady is the largest eraser in pro sports because every mistake that Coach Belichick made during that two decades, Brady could erase it. You took a bad receiver, Brady would take a seventh round receiver, a receiver that you took in the first or the second or third round, and Brady would erase it with a Julian Edelman. Or you make a mistake on, on a defensive back, he would take somebody else and he could erase it. Coach Belichick did a great job of designing defensive schemes to keep the point to what he did against the greatest show on turf. All these great high-flying uh, high offenses. But at the end of the day, when you needed a quarterback to make a play, Brady always made that play. So I think he allowed Brady to play away because he could tell Brady, when you see this formation, this is what I would do to you if you're in this formation. And this is where the weakness is in the defense. But I don't think he just... A regular coach can't have this level of success for two decades. But what it does go to show you, no matter how great of a defensive mind or an offensive mind you are, if you don't have a guy that's six foot four and 200 plus pounds with arm, you're whistling in the wind. Need you to that's sing. your argument. Okay, that's I need your you. argument. What do you mean that's my argument? Your argument is that they're going to be in the playoffs. Is Tom Brady playing bad? Okay. Yes or yes. no? Yes, he played poorly yesterday. What but you it mean was... yesterday? Okay. Oh, yeah. But you're giving him 100% I of did. the blame? Because they, you had, they well, asked that, me the question. That's just, you, you have no objectivity. It's just straight Brady still, hate. Still. Wait, wait a minute. This is just straight hate by a guy who's jealous that he is still playing at a high level at 45 when you had to stop at 35. Still, that's what you that's do. That's the point. That's what you do. Every time somebody, every time I call something into question, I'm jealous. No. Still, I did well, what I did. I never said you were jealous of Baker Mayfield. Still, I did what I did. You make it seem like I was a bum. I'm in the effing Hall of Fame. Okay, I so got three what? Super Bowls. So what? So what? He's way better than you were. I'm better way than you. Better. Yeah, what I see what you do. You take personal shots. No, when, for I, don't, the, I don't take yeah. personal on, shots. Time you time started time it. Time out. You would take a personal shot at me. I didn't so, take oh, a personal shot at you. Wait a minute. What are you talking about? You would take a personal shot. Put your glasses back on. Can I finish? You're willing to take a personal shot at me to say this man is better than me because I say he's playing bad this year? Well, because you 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 just Go ahead. you disrespect him. It's it's just so. It, so it's you, just, you know what? It's beneath your you dignity. You would disrespect me to no, support him. No, well, I'll, I'll support him over anybody because he's the greatest player who ever Have played your it. game, and it's by Have far. Because it. It, it took everything. Because I had to make a split second decision. In that moment, Stephen, I had to make a split second decision. And the decision I made was to have a, a further long-term career. Because I knew at that moment in time, it was only a matter of time. Mm -hmm. They was going to have to separate us. You said in the split moment, you had to make a decision. What was I had to make decision? a decision. I'm saying, the split, the, I'm saying, to crystallize, in that moment, the split decision was what? What what you did what you did or what were you thinking about doing? What I words, didn't do. What, did, what are you talking about what you didn't do? What do you mean by that? Mm -hmm. So we saw people coming at Stephen A. not long ago talking about stirring up old wounds and bringing up what happened between Shannon and Skip months after the fact. And not only that, it's not a problem that he brought it up. Shannon needs a, a platform to tell his side of the story, right? 
and he has his own platform, but it, it's no issue in Stephen A. asking if Stephen A. wasn't pretending like he doesn't want Skip Bayless to fail. He didn't say those words, but I'm saying, when you say you don't want someone to fail and then you talk about, you know, something that doesn't paint them in a good light, and, you know, he, he at the end of that clip, you hear what he said? He was like, um, what was it you were thinking about doing? He said in a playful voice, like, you know, he was going to put his hands on him, obviously, uh, or that's what he thought, and it's kind of joking to him. So, on one hand, you say you respect Skip to the utmost, and, you're appreciative of the opportunity, but we looked at what you said on Cameron's show. You said you would never work with him again. Not that you have to, but the way you said it, it was a tone thing, not what you said. Um, it seems like, and, and let's talk about when you posted, you know, your stats from first take compared to undisputed stats. That didn't change when Shannon was over there. Like Shannon, um, they, they probably got a little bit more views, but it was never close to ESPN. Fox Sports show was never going to be close to uh, First Take. You've done little things. You took little digs at Skip to suggest otherwise. Like, you may not be praying for his success actively, but you won't lose sleep if he fails either. So, <laughs> I just want to point that out. And we've been noticing the little tactics uh, behind the scenes. Just keep it real and say that you don't rock with the brother. But don't say... You know, I'm hoping for him to do well. I just hope that I'm number one because it doesn't seem to us like that's true. You may not care. I'm just saying as an outside observer looking at it and many other people that be in your comment section saying, why are you posting this and that uh, in a negative light to skip are wondering the same thing or they thinking the same thing. But to look at this, I don't know if Shannon... Uh, necessarily is saying that Skip was right because he did give Tom Brady his due. But when you look at New England now, man, and you look at what they were able to do with Tom Brady, the proof is in the pudding at this point. And if you don't like Tom Brady, you can't deny his impact on that organization at this point. It's just it's too clear and too many personnel changes with him being the common denominator on that team. Too much winning, man. Tom is just who he is. You know, you can't take that away from him uh, whatsoever. As far as, you know, in 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 the pantheon of, of quarterbacks and, you know, the NFL, you can't take away who he is. He is what he is, man, at the end of the day. But do y'all agree with uh, the people in the comments saying that this is him basically admitting that skip bayless was right or do you just feel like shannon was manning up and saying look you know i underestimated this guy even though i played i should have been giving him more credit and had more appreciation for what he was able to achieve uh throughout his lengthy career let me know what you think in the comments don't forget to like share and subscribe until next time peace